Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So welcome here for the next lecture. And today we discuss some examples of Boolean algebra. We have studied the rules. We have done everything. How to solve the logic expression. How to uh, divide the logic expression. And today we discuss examples on Boolean algebra. So some will be from the book and some from my side. First, we discuss number one is a very easy one x plus x complement into y. x plus x complement into y. So, while discussing these numerical problems or these examples over here, I think uh, you should uh, pause the video over here and try to solve them yourselves. And then, when you solve them, then play the video back and compare your results with mine. Alright? So, x plus x complement y. Now, this is the distributive law of uh, the OR operation over the AND operation. And I believe you will be remembering that. And so, I can write it as x plus x complement into x plus y. Alright? Next, x plus x complement. Now, we've said and anything that x plus x complement with root is 1. So, I can write it as 1 times x plus y. And then, we have also proved that anything ending with 1 is again for the same thing. a into 1 is a. So, x plus y into 1 is again x plus y. That is the simple, that is the simplified word. Alright? Second example, x into x complement plus y. Alright, so now this is the distributive law of the OR operation over the AND operation. So this would be equal to what? x into x complement plus x into y and we have already seen that x into x complement is what? It's 0 x into x complement is 0 which makes this 0 or with x plus y and we have seen that 0 or with anything is the same thing so x plus y or with 0 would be x into y, sorry, this is x into y. So x into y, r with this would be x into y. And this is the answer again. Alright. So the third one is what? The third is x complement y complement into z plus x complement y into z plus x y complement. Alright, so have a look. X complement and Z is common in the first two. So let me take it common. X complement into Z. Y plus Y complement remains. Plus X times Y complement. So Y plus Y complement is again 1, and anything and with Y is again the same thing. So this equals what? X complement Z, X complement Z, uh, plus X Y complement. So this is the simplified word. All right? Yes, sir. Okay. The fourth, X Y plus X complement Z. Plus y is equal. Alright. So have a look. In the first one we have x and y, then we have x and z, and then we have y and z. So I solve it, I can solve it by two methods, I believe. By introducing y over here or by introducing an x over here. So I introduce x over here. So this would be xy plus x complement z. And plus yz 
So this is why z into 1. And anything or with its sub complement is again 1. So if I write x plus x complement, so this is the same thing as 1. So I've introduced x over here by some means. So now, now this would be equal to xy plus x complement z. Now plus xyz plus x complement yz. Alright, now, now what do we have? Here, have a look. X and Y are common in these two. X, Y, both are common in these two. So if I can write X, Y, whatever. Okay, X, Y, and 1 plus Z. 1 plus Z. And over here we have x complement z. So plus x complement z times 1 plus 1 plus y. Isn't it so? Alright. Now anything ended with 1 is again the same thing. Yes? Anything ended, anything ended with 1 is the same thing. But here we have the R operation. So anything ending with or, anything added with or is 1. So this would be 1, and this would be 1, and then they are both added. So they will again result in the same thing. A i added with 1 is again A. So x y added with 1 is again x y. So the simplified version of this is what? x y plus x complement z. Alright? Uh, okay, one example is again over here, it's a very easy one. Let's say this is number fifth. A, B plus A, B complement. So what would this be? Taking A common, so it is A and B plus B complement. B plus B complement is 1 and this is again equal to A. Right. So this is from the book. Let me tell you one thing that uh, about this a formula would be a plus a complement b is equal to what? A plus b. A plus a b. And another one, second one is that a complement plus a b. would be A complement plus B. And how is this? So I believe you can do it by yourselves, but uh, let me do it for you. This is from the distributive law. A plus A complement into B would be what? A plus A complement times A plus B. And A plus A complement is equal to 1 times A plus B, which is again equal to A plus B. And similarly for A plus B on the second one, A complement plus A into A complement plus B. So this would be again 1 into A complement plus B. Alright? Sixth example is from the De Morgan's theorem. It states F1 is given F1 A function is given F1 which is equal to now x complement y, z complement plus x complement y complement z. Uh, okay, and that is it. So you apply the Morgan's theorem to it. So you uh, find the complement. So the complement is what? You apply the whole complement to it. Now what happens in the De Morgan's theorem? The R operation changes into an AND operation. Alright? So, look, have a look. X complement Y into Z complement. All complement into the second one. X complement Y complement Z. All complement. As we've seen, what? That A plus B. All complement is equal to A complement. So that is it. 
Now again, this uh, whole complement changes this AND operation into an OR operation, like this. Uh, X plus Y complement plus Z into X plus Y plus Z complement. Let me check. Yes, this is it. All right. Now we have a second function, f2, f2 is y, x times y complement z complement plus y z. This is the function. We have to find the complement by applying the De Morgan's theorem. So applying the complement on both sides. All right. So this x is a and this is b. So this would be a complement plus b complement. So this would be what? x complement plus this complement. y complement z plus y z. y complement z complement plus y z whole complement. Now what happens? Apply the Morgan theorem again. So you do what? Our operation is changed into an AND operation and the complement is given to the liberals, which means X complement plus A complement into B complement. So A is what? Y complement, Z complement, giving a whole complement. And it will. And it will what? With this thing, Y into Z, give it a complement. All right. Now, again applying the Morgan's theorem, we change the R and operation in between these two into an R operation. So X is and it is X complement plus, now have a look, Y or with Z. Because the complement has applied. And then into Y complement or with Z complement. So this is the answer. Yes, this is. All right. So, I believe this is enough for this lecture. And we discuss some more lectures in the upcoming, uh, we discuss some more examples in the upcoming lectures. And uh, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, goodbye.